Yes. You show off. What do you know? That's it. Score. Oh, good goal. Round the back. We were put in a lap of uh, funding to set up a girls project here in the south of the county because there was successfully one run up at uh, Aberystwyth and the whole idea is to introduce girls football again in the area because the leagues that were running for girls has, uh, has folded a couple of years ago. How did you kick it all off? I mean, How did you get the interest that you've got? What we did started off a few ideas from the, from the last project we then put flyers together, sent them out to schools, and then we decided to use a role model and ambassador from the game. So we used Gwen and Harrys, who plays for the women's national team. She came into the local school here in Landissel, and she did some keepy uppies. We did a few sessions. We also used the 560 officer who plays for Chagarin ladies, uh, Nia Jones. And it was just really to paint a picture for the girls. Actually, there is going to be football available. And come and enjoy it without boys. Make sure all the girls have got a ball each, plenty of ball manipulation, having fun with their friends, and then we'll play small-sided games at the end. All the girls are key stage two in school, so from seven to 11. So a lot of the girls go to school locally together or in the, the villages or communities close by. So they've, they've, some of them have gained new friends, which is the whole point. And then if we can direct that then into the local league with the South Caradigian League, then all the better to hopefully sustain the girls' numbers. So how long will the project go on for? Well, this project ends now at the end of this football season. And then the idea is that we're going to have a fun football festival day with the Aberystwyth project. So marrying the two together so the girls can see at the end of it they've, they've got some games. Not competitive, it's all going to be in a non-competitive environment. 4v4s, 5v5s, 6v6s. At the end of the day, we don't know if there's goalkeepers, so you don't have to have goalkeepers, use the pop-up goals, and basically let the girls have fun to hopefully sustain, like, like I said, for future projects. Why, why did you want to come and play? It's better without the boys. <laughs> yeah? And what sort of things do you do? Um, we play games and we do... Um, we dribble and play games with the ball. Would you like to play football when you're, uh, in the future when you're older for a club? Definitely. Yeah? And what are the best things about coming to play football? Come and play with my friends. Well, for me, the most important thing is having local role models. So we're working in partnership with the 560 officer and we've got 560 volunteers from the high school year. We've got two girls that help out coaching who play for our Bristol with ladies. And as I said, uh, Nia, who's the 560 officer for Van Dissel High School, also plays for Chagarin. So the, the girls can then see, if they do want to continue playing in football, that there is a player pathway for them to stay in. We've got to make sure now that whether it's a league format or turn up and play once every three to four weeks, working in partnership with the league, then we've got to make sure that that continues. And that's my job, the Leisure Centre's job, 560 officer's job, sports development's job. We're all working in partnership to make sure that this works. You've been coming to the weekly sessions. I mean, how's, how's it been? What sort of things have you been doing? Um, it's been great. I've been, mostly I've been with the, with the younger age group here. Um, um, I've been with the older age groups sometimes as well. Um, it's been good, it's been cold. <laughs> but um, we're doing a lot of um, dribbling, basic things to start off with. But we're progressing on a bit now. And so do, do the kids have to pay to come along to the session now tonight? No, it's all free, it's all being funded through the Lapper. However, once this project is over, then of course then we're looking for the club to be sustainable itself. Um, my job is to go around the parents and ask them, grandparents, are you interested in setting up a club? I can't be here every week because I, I need to set up a new one elsewhere in Keradigan and Powys. We're already putting in plans in place to have one perhaps from September in Lampeter because there's a new ATP going there. So to make sure there's a focus in each of the areas to increase the participation figures and to see more girls playing football. Since um, 
starting here, you can see that a few of the girls, they really into the football. They um, they enjoy it. And they're quite good already before coming here, so obviously they've started somewhere. The parents have influenced or something of the schools. So I think um, it is possible so to keep them, around, it, keep them enjoying it. Uh, do you want to play football in the future? When you get older, do you think you're going to play a lot more football? Yes. What, what's the best things about playing football? When you school and celebrate. Okay.